Um, hello and welcome to this American Family Insurance Dream Bank event where we we believe in the transformative power of dreams. My name is Megan and I'm a curator here and I'm so excited that you're here to join us for Engineering for Kids, a Dream Bank edition event. We have some very special friends that will be helping us lead this event and I will pass it over to you, Ruti. Thank you so much, Megan. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this event. My name is Rutu Bole, and I'm joined by Dina Peak, and we are here from Engineering for Kids to host a super special activity where we will be learning about engineering, mechanical engineering, and lastly, creating a super fun toy. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello Engineering for Kids, this is Mr. Mike, and today we're going to be going over a junior mechanical engineering activity called Buzzer. So let's jump in. So for today's game plan, we're going to learn about the role mechanical engineers play in toy design and creation. We'll practice being mechanical engineers ourselves as we design a toy that uses vibrations to buzz. So Buzzer is what we're going to create today. So to review our definitions, so we've got what is an engineer? It's a professional who uses math, science, and technology to create or improve objects and processes which make our lives easier. They use the engineering design process, which is a six-step process, uh, to aid their development of any product. So we're going to talk about mechanical engineers today and them creating toys. So obviously when you want to create a toy, it has to have uh, several different components. It has to be fun. It has to be something that appeals to a lot of different kids and it'll be fun for a lot of different kids. So they would use the engineering design process to make sure that that toy is fun and works well. So here's that engineering design process. So what we'll do is we'll talk about this again as we're doing our build of our buzzer, but our six steps are as follows. Ask, this is where we're going to ask questions about what we're trying to solve and what problem we're trying to solve. Brainstorm is where we're going to take all of our ideas or put them down into one spot and think about our variables. Our variables are things that we have um, that we might not have access to. So if you wanted to make a buzzer using uh, electricity, well, we don't have access to electricity for this lesson. So we'd have to do something else. The design is taking all of our ideas and coming up with a proposed solution or an initial solution. Our build phase, which is, I think, everyone's most fun phase that they enjoy is uh, to, to build it using your hands and taking the thoughts from your mind and bringing it to your hands and building it. And then we're going to test it. And if it doesn't work like we thought, that's okay. We can always improve it. So some definitions. So vibration, I've, I've used that term a few times already today, is a very quick back and forth motion. So um, you can make your, um, you can make your lips vibrate when you uh, when you make a buzz noise, boom, it makes your lips vibrate back and forth, and that's kind of what makes that weird noise. So why don't you try that? Boom. Makes a funny noise, kind of. Mechanical engineer is an engineer who designs and constructs objects using machines. So we're going to use some machines today to construct our object. They're not going to be power machines, but you'll see what, uh, what machines we're using when we get there. Uh, a toy is an object for a child to play with typically a model or a miniature replica of, of, of something. And I've used this in a few of our other videos, but the same, um, the same one applies here. Let me get my notebook so we can put it on a flat surface. There we go. Um, our miniature basketball hoop. Remember that? We talked about this being reused and recycled. We talked about this being stable. And now we're talking about it being a toy. It's a replica basketball hoop, something miniature. And it's a model as well. So it's a monocle, it's a miniature represent of an object or a building. So this is a toy and a model, a toy model. All right, so some fun facts. So the hula hoop, which is a round hoop that goes around your waist and you can move uh, your hips and it goes in around in a circle. You've probably seen them. A hula hoop became one of the first toy crazes in the U.S. in the 1950s. 
Another fun fact is the teddy bear was first made by the Ideal Novelty and Toy Company and is named for the former president, Theodore Teddy Roosevelt. So that's where the term teddy bear came from. And then also in 19, well not also, but back in the 50s, in the 50s, Lego followed a very precise universal system. They called it their system. And what Lego did is they made a system that meant all of the Lego bricks would fit perfectly in to on top of one another. I don't have any Lego bricks on my desk, although I do have this le little Lego minifigure. But if you look at, if I take off uh, the, their minifigure's pants, you'll see that I just have the minifigure legs right here. And this minifigure leg will fit on any other uh, Lego toy. So here I have a little toy propeller. These little legs will actually snap right on top of there so that they sit on. I can actually spin those legs around if I wanted to. So that's part of the system that they have. And then since uh, 1958, they created that system. Um, and so it all snaps together. Another example here is I have a little minifigure sword and it actually snaps into the hand of the minifigure and he can hold that. Now, I have kids, they're seven and nine. So that's why I have Legos all over my desk even. But um, these are all part of the system. So there's some, some toy fun facts for you. Mechanical engineers often work in teams with other engineers to improve the way that the, uh, things work or uh, fix things that they don't work. So here's a team of engineers working on a drone. Uh, and let me move my video, I forgot to do that. So they're working on a drone. A drone is a, a, a machine that flies in the air. This one is uh, using four propellers. Uh, we talked about propellers and blades from the helicopter lesson. Uh, this is using four propellers, but they're working on this machine. A typical day for a mechanical engineer will include uh, designing a mechanical or alternative systems uh, to improve energy efficiency. So they might be working on this drone so that it doesn't use as much battery power. Uh, they're researching, designing, evaluating, installing, operating, or maintaining mechanical um, mechanical products, equipment, and processes. That's a long sentence that basically means that they help make sure everything uh, is meeting requirements and they're working on mechanical pro projects, so different machines. And then they read and interpret, interpret blueprints. Blueprints are design uh, documents for uh, certain things. They look at technical drawings. So a technical drawing would be a drawing of, let's use this drone as an example, uh, every single piece of that drone would be in that technical drawing. And it would talk about the different sizes of things, the different materials that's going to be used. So a, a mechanical engineer does a lot of really cool things working with machines. All right. So what we're going to do is let's head over to our build table. We'll uh, start working on the buzzer. We'll work through the engineering design process to do that. And uh, we'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, we're back at our build table. We just talked about some of our definitions uh, for uh, what we're going to be building today. Uh, we're going to be building a toy called a buzzer. And the materials we need are in front of us here. We need some cap erasers, some crayons to decorate our buzzer, some index cards, various uh, size rubber bands. So uh, I have a little container of rubber bands here. Uh, I have some you know, thicker rubber bands, and we'll take a look at that closely. I have some thinner rubber bands, so we'll, we'll, we'll use both of those. We need some craft sticks. We need some string, different types of tape, some masking tape, some mounting tape, and then possibly some hole punches. So for today, uh, our question that we're going to be asking is... Uh, how can we use uh, different uh, machines, things like scissors, scissors is a machine, it doesn't have to be connected to electricity or hole punches. Uh, how can we use that, the engineering design process to create a toy? Uh, a toy is you know, something that we're going to use to keep us entertained and we're going to do that by taking all these materials, uh, putting them together in a specific way and hopefully we've got a successful buzzer. Uh, at the very end. So uh, some of the questions that we want to ask in, in our ask is what, um, how can we use these materials? Um, so what do you think, Luke, if we're trying to create a toy that buzzes, 
how might we you know use the engineering design process to so the brainstorming how might we use some of these things to make things vibrate or make things buzz um, what do you think luke's age seven he's never done this activity before so just like you he's thinking about this all new What type of things buzz? Um. Bzz. What buzzes in your ear sometimes? Bees. Bees. How do bees buzz? What, what makes bees buzz? They have wings. The wings, right? They so go the, really fast. Exactly. The wings go very fast. So if the bee is just sitting there and his wings are not moving, is he buzzing? No. No. So, we've got to make something move very fast. Now, sometimes uh, you, can, um, you can get things to vibrate or buzz by moving them very slow, but I have something I want to show you today. Well, this is a guitar, all right? You can kind of see this. And this uses vibrations to make uh, different noises. So uh, vibration, as we talked about, is something that's moving back and forth very rapidly. So the guitar strings will move back and forth very rapidly. And we'll take a quick look at that close up here. So if I pluck the string, you'll hear that the string makes a noise and you'll see that the string will vibrate back and forth. If I pluck another string, it makes a different type of noise. Now, these strings have different thicknesses so i want you to keep that in mind when we're talking a little bit later about our buzzer but the bigger and the thicker strings make a lower noise and the thinner strings make a higher noise and if you actually put together some of the strings and you push down certain buttons you can make different sounds and different notes so that's a little bit of how, how guitar works, but it uses vibrations. And we're gonna use some of those same principles today when we're building our buzzer. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our popsicle stick and we're gonna put two cap erasers on the end of that popsicle stick. So I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna have Luke help me with, with this part. All right, while we're doing that, I'm going to get our mounting tape ready. And what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to cut a piece of mounting tape that is exactly the same width or, or length as our popsicle stick. So what we have to do is we take our mounting tape, all right, and grab the scissors over here, grab the scissors, and we're gonna cut the piece of mounting tape to go just as long as that. So go ahead, Luke, can you help me cut that there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there is perfect. Very good, perfect. All right, we can set that aside. All right, so now we've got our popsicle stick or our craft stick, and we've got two erasers on the end, and then we've got our mounting tape on the front, okay? So we've taken three of our supplies, and we have uh, kind of here, uh, something that looks a little weird, huh? All right, so does this buzz yet? Try it out, see if you can make it buzz. No, not really. No. No, not really. But oh. I know how we can make it buzz. How can we make it buzz? What do you think? This is part of the design phase. We're looking at all the materials, and we're kind of designing something. Now, I, I've got a end result that I know will work, but we're looking at how we can make this, this happen. So we can use the rubber bands to go right here and then we can just make it buzz just like a guitar. Like a guitar, sure. So Luke says that if you hold the rubber band like this and you do that, it'll buzz. So maybe if we were to try to do that, we would need two popsicle sticks or something along those lines. That's a good idea. Now, I have a, I have a slightly different design that I want to try and then we can maybe po possibly try to improve it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add an index card to our design. Now, you, if you have a bigger index card that's, that's larger than the popsicle stick, uh, you'll have to trim that down. 
I have an index card that's uh, three and a half by five, and so that will fit perfectly on there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel off that uh, other side of the uh, the tape there, the mounting tape, and we are going to put the index card right on there like that. So go ahead there, Luke. Why don't you do that? Peel this off. Yeah, you're going to peel off that green part. You got it. All right. Peel that off. That's trash we can discard that all right now you're gonna put you can decide if you want the stripes to face up or the stripes to face down you get to pick yep perfect just like that all right so let me take a quick look at this here all right so we've got now our our, our index card posted there we've got our um you know we've got our our erasers on the ends and now one of the last things that we're going to want to do is we're going to tie a string to this this is going to be a buzzer but it's it's going to be attached to a string and when we swing the string around it's going to kind of fly through the air a little bit a little bit like a kite but we're going to be able to create the motion by swinging it all right so you can pick how long you want your string to be uh luke you can pick how long you want yours to be um, about there okay cut it right there that's fine all right so now we can set this aside and now what I want you to do is I want you to tie the one end of the string to one end of your buzzer right near the eraser so go ahead and do that So now that we've uh, got our string connected to our um, to our craft stick with our erasers, our mounting tape, and we have our um, our uh, index card, thank you, Luke, uh, attached. Do we think this is going to buzz now? Um, yes. Yes. Why do you think it's going to buzz? Because the paper, the index card, is going to wave. Okay. Really fast. It's going to wave really fast. Well, let's go outside and give this a quick test and see what happens. What do you think? I think it'll work. All right, let's go take a look. All right. All right, so now we're going to test it outside here. Luke's outside. He's got his buzzer. Uh, and we're going to see what happens when he spins it. Go ahead, Luke. All right. So it didn't really buzz. It was kind of more of a flutter, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Luke, so we just tested our buzzer and it didn't really buzz, right? It kind of had a little bit of a flutter sound, right? Yeah, it didn't really buzz. No. So we saw that when we were spinning it, the paper was going back and forth. And you can kind of hear the noise that it was making when I move it back and forth just like that. But what other element here, and we kind of talked about it a little bit before, what other element here could we use that would might maybe make a vibration? Rubber band. Rubber band. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rubber band and we're going to put it on our buzzer around the erasers. All right. And we're going to put that on there. And you kind of have to center it a little bit, but on each side you'll have a rubber band. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to go out and I want you or, or stay in, make sure you've got plenty of room around you. You don't want to be doing this around, um, you know, ar around anything that uh, could be breakable. So make sure that uh, maybe your brother or sister is not around. You don't want to hit them. A nice open spot. We're using our backyard real quick because it's nice and open there. But we're going to go out and we're going to test this. We're also going to test uh, maybe some other size rubber bands. And another thing that we're going to do is we're going to maybe test what would happen if we make changes to the uh, to, to the index card. All right. So come join us while we test and improve. All right, so now we've got our our big thicker rubber band on there. All right, now what do you think is going to happen, Luke? 
I think it's gonna buzz a little. All right, let's give it a test. Wow. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> it buzzed. Pretty cool. Sounds just like a bee, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Try one more time. Why not? Oh, no. I got tangled. It's okay. All right, now try to spin it, but spin it a little bit slower. And tell me if you notice any differences. Do you hear it buzzing? All right, spin it a little bit faster. Ooh, now a little bit faster. So start slow and then get faster and faster. That was cool. What do you notice the difference? It wasn't buzzing in the beginning when it's slow, but when we got a little bit faster, did the sound change at all? Yeah. Oh, now we have switched out the rubber band to a thinner rubber band. What do you think is going to happen now, Luke? I think it's going to make a little bit more quieter. You think it's going to be quieter? All right, let's see what it sounds like. Go ahead. Try once more. <laughs> Maybe what we could do to change the design is shorten the string, huh? That string seems a little bit long. Mm -hmm. That would be one way we could improve this. Do you hear it buzzing? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Is it very soft? All right, so we just tested our buzzer with different size rubber bands, and what we noticed was that the smaller rubber band uh, wasn't buzzing as much as the bigger rubber band and the length of this um, of, of this index card might have ha uh, played a role in that. So what's one thing we could do to the index card, Luke, to, ch uh, to maybe change that? Make it a little longer. We could try to make it a little longer. We could actually tape on another index card and make it longer. So there's one test that we could do to see if that improves it. If we don't make it longer, we make it shorter. Shorter. We could also change the design of the index card. And I'm gonna just show you a quick example here. Taking our safety scissors and make it look a little bit like a, a flag. Something like that. We could do that. We could test that out. We could take our hole punch and we could hole punch holes all over this part and we could see what happens there. See that? I've got hole punch holes all along there. Uh, as I mentioned outside to Luke, his string kept getting caught up in his, uh, in his sleeve so we could change the length of, of our yarn here so it's a little easier to swing around. So there's a lot of things we can do to test this out. There's a lot of things that we can do to alter the design a little bit. Uh, what I wanted to do is give you a little bit of a, you know, a starting point. So feel free to take all your resources and make as many buzzers as you like and try out different things, see what works, see what doesn't. And make sure you're having fun. That's part of it. We're, we're exploring today. We're learning about toys. We're learning about models. We're learning about um, you know, creating things using vibrations. So make sure that uh, you're having fun, you're testing things out. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, have a parent, uh, mom and dad give us an email. We'll be happy to help you. But until next time, uh, it was great working with you. Me and Luke are going to go and we're going to continue engineering. We're going to continue designing. And uh, we'll see you next time. Wow, that was so...
fun. I cannot believe the end result of it, how much it sounded like uh, something that was actually buzzing. So thank you so much, Engineering for Kids, for enlightening us, showing us how you can really test and ideate and come up with some incredible things, especially with items that are typically found around your house. So thank you all for tuning in today to this Dream Bank Madison event. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good afternoon.